turned out to be a pretty nice day. Fantastic uh, photo opportunity coming up on the right hand side here in just a moment as well guys. Looking back onto the skyline of Surfers Paradise. Alrighty, now we've got a home that's just been demolished over here guys. This is Paradise Quarters. You see the excavator sitting there. Now this home here was uh, a lovely looking home as well guys. Look at the uh, two homes either side of it. That's what this home looked like. Now uh, they've just demolished it. Now they paid 5.5 million for it and they did a renovation there as well and they weren't happy with the renovation and they just never ever felt comfortable in the home. So they've knocked it down. How do I know that? My son-in-law is knocking it down. <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't believe the home. You would not believe it, guys. But um, true story, they just never ever felt comfortable there. And what does your son-in-law do? He drives an excavator. He knocks houses down. <laughs> the, um, now this, uh, again, is Paradise Waters here, guys. Quite an exclusive address also. And you can see the further we get away from Chevron Island, the architecture is changing all the time. This big three-storey grand white home here, someone that you would have heard of before, Ian Thorpe's old home. And uh, you would have seen Ian Thorpe back in the day doing laps up and down the lap pool. We've also got another nice home. Oh, I can't say it's nice because it's nowhere near finished. We've got another home being built here as well, guys. And uh, this gentleman here, he brought three blocks of land about two and a half, three years ago to be able to build this home. They've been sitting vacant all this time. They've just started to build here. He paid a total of 9.2 million for all three blocks. And uh, so it'll be interesting watching this property come to life over the next uh, 12 months or more. It's getting pretty warm up here now, isn't it? <coughs> TSS over on your left hand side. The Southport School. What a beautiful school it is as well, guys. Check out the beautiful clock tower. And uh, there's a lot of history here as well, guys. First built back in 1901, right on the banks of the Narang River. And uh, they love their sport over here, let me tell you. They love their rugby union, soccer, sailing, rowing, some of the sporting identities that have gone through this school over the years. We've had a couple of iron men, Shannon and Kane Exton, Matthew Boucher is one of Australia's uh, Olympic sailors. And uh, who else have we had? Former world number one golfer, Adam Scott went there and we've even had a former Queensland Premier, Rob Borbidge. He also went to uh, TSS there as well, guys. If you want to send your son to school there as a boarding student, around 40,000 a year. And uh, a lot of the students, I know a few of them as well, they come from central uh, Queensland, guys. Their parents may own big cattle stations, cotton farms, things like that. And uh, those children from out around those uh, remote places in central Queensland will normally get sent to boarding schools around uh, Warwick, Toowoomba, Ipswich, and also here on the Gold Coast. These two blocks of land sold the other day as well, guys. Um, 7.1 million. That's before they even start to build.
Paul Ruddy, check out this big white home coming up on your right hand side here as well guys. They have their own helipad, how cool is that? It's pretty cool. If you have a look over the top of the helipad in underneath the balcony, they also have their own cannon. Wow. That's pretty cool. Now that home was on the market as well guys, I don't know whether it's sold or whether it's come off, um, it was on for 8.2 million. And I just noticed the uh, sold, uh, the uh, for sale sign to come down, I didn't see a sold uh, sign on it, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Also, uh, at the moment, we're heading downstream in the Narang River as well, guys. Uh, once we get to the Sundale Bridge, we will have um, left the Narang River and we will have entered into uh, the Gold Coast Broadwater. Back at about four o'clock, guys, five o'clock, the home with the big curved roof. Very famous Hollywood actor. Owns that home, I'll give you a clue. See how clever everybody is. He was the voice of the monkey on Kung Fu Panda. Anybody know it? Nobody? That's a bit sad. Sorry? That was a bit sad. Nobody knows the answer. Sorry? I didn't, oh, didn't hear the question. A very famous Hollywood actor owns that home with the big curved roof. Looks like a ski jump or uh, something. I'll give you a clue. The clue is he was the voice of the monkey on Kung Fu Panda. Uh, the prize was a week's holiday at the uh, mantra as well. We're going to have to keep that. Jackie Chan. Alrighty guys, so I'll just get everyone to take a seat for me as we go underneath this bridge for Jackie Chan's holiday home. And quite an interesting story, Jackie Chan's as well, with his parents migrating to Australia here. They live in Canberra. Again, guys, please don't reach up and uh, try and touch this bridge as we go underneath it. It is the Sundale Bridge, and uh, once we've passed under here, we'll be in uh, the Gold Coast Alrighty, you're good to walk around now guys, no more bridges and uh, the good news is the tide's going down as well so we'll, we'll end up with more room throughout the day as well. Keep on travelling with us right throughout the day as well guys, you are welcome on board here right throughout the day, hang out with Captain Wayne and uh, Ebony, keep cruising around with us, you might like to hop off, get a bit of lunch or something, a bit of morning tea. Over on your right hand side guys, Main Beach. This is where I live over here guys. And I like it over here as well. The, uh, a lot of the towers or nearly every tower that you can see there is residential living, so no holiday makers. So it makes it so much quieter than right in Surface Paradise. Tedder Avenue, uh, if you're a local, you might be familiar with it. That's just over behind the first couple of rows of houses. It's a very trendy little street. It has a lovely village type atmosphere to it. And uh, some great restaurants over there, cafes. The Gold Coast Best Bakery is over there as well. Um, so again, if you're up this way at all, guys, go and check out Tedder Avenue. It's worth checking out. Some great baristas. And uh, Southport Yacht Club's coming up as well, guys. Can you just check what they, yeah, just give them a call. Who was it? Oh, uh, it was Latrell. 
Alrighty, we've got some earthworks happening over here as well, guys. And uh, Southport Yacht Club is your premier yacht club here on the Gold Coast. And uh, they're celebrating 75 years here on the Gold Coast as well. Now, the super yacht industry, guys, is huge, but we don't see the big super yachts coming into uh, the Gold Coast here because there's nowhere that can accommodate them. This yacht here, that's uh, about as big as we can accommodate. The Southport Yacht Club have received the government grant to uh, put in a big super yacht berth here, guys. And uh, you can see the length of it. That'll give you an idea of the length of super yacht that will now be able to come into the Gold Coast here. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Alrighty guys, <coughs> heli tours coming up and uh, what a great way to see the Gold Coast guys, jump on a helicopter, my very first helicopter flight was in Hawaii, doors off, flying around Waikiki, bit of Hawaii Five-O music being played through the headset and it was a pretty exhilarating thing to do as well, so uh, you can do helicopter flights here at um, Heli tours, you can also do them down at SeaWorld as well, guys, at uh, SeaWorld helicopters as well. Alrighty, a little bit of trivia for you guys. We've got the little floating uh, chapel here. If you were on the other uh, Hoppo ferry at all today, and there's a Chinese, ah, uh, Chinese, uh, you'll kill me for that. The um, a Japanese gentleman on there, Tomo, he's on the other Hoppo ferry today, if you're on it. Uh, he got married on this floating chapel 17 years ago, guys. He's an ex-world champion wakeboarder. And uh, he had the chapel uh, taken to his favourite destination here on the Gold Coast. And uh, his wife is also from Japan. She was waiting on board with their guests for Tomo to turn up. And they thought he was coming on a gondola. He wakeboarded to this thing in a tuxedo. And he landed on there without getting wet. And that's a true story. He's on the other ferry today, guys. Pretty cool thing to do. And, uh, we're asking about it, guys. Is that the other ferry in front of us? Uh, yeah, this is uh, the the other ferry in front of us here now, guys. <laughs> this is the proper Hobo ferry. So that's behind us. Service, obviously. Uh, a few people waiting here as well. Oh, uh, wakeboard, it's, um, it's sort of exactly the same as, uh, it's like a surfboard except you're skiing on it, so, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's a Oh, no, no, it's just, it's like a single ski, but it's bigger. Yeah, like wider, yeah. Yeah, like a snowboard, like a snowboard, yeah, exactly. Good description from my friend down on the front deck there. Uh, what else can I tell you guys while we're waiting? Wow, look at the people up here. Uh, Marina Mirage, guys. That is the next stop here. Anyone hopping on? Oh, yeah, got some people hopping on. Um, 
just while we're waiting here, Marina Mirage to you guys. Thank you. 